really good news about the 1.2 update. Unfortunately, I'm traveling, so well, we'll have to do with this. Kuromi's Spooky Celebration launches on September 29th. They announced eight to, six to eight weeks uh, in between updates and there will be only five weeks uh, since the 1.1. So this is very interesting. This is a bit earlier than we expected. This is really bad for me because I will also be traveling and I will not be able to live stream. We'll see. Just in time for October, join Kuromi for all sorts of tricks and treats in our 1.2 update. Confirmed feature and content include the spooky celebration runs through October. Expect new furniture, new looks and some new fun. So I expected something like the end of summer. There will be a login bonus or something, probably the clothes there or a shop. And I think they will probably have something like that, that you grab something and be able to uh, trade it. So look in the image, they have some kind of pouches. Maybe this is something that we can exchange. Three new visitors. Can you guess who would be in Kurami's update? So you can see the shadow of Barry and Sherry, the low romantic. I don't know who can be the third one yet, so if you have ideas, let us know. Continue the story of Kiki and Lala and explore two new areas of Cloud Island. So this is interesting. It probably means that since it's Kuromi and Halloween, it will probably be in the swamp. So no new main areas, but they decided to make the cloud island bigger so that's very interesting and good itama returns but how we'll talk a little bit more about that in uh, some of the discord messages that i'll show you later but we don't know much more than this home sweet home get your own cabin on your island and on a friend's that's right multiplayer cabins i have no idea how this will work so probably I don't know if any of the cabins we can turn and make it become our own or everybody got a dedicated cabin or or like the main building in the back of Pochaco is it half is our own cabin and half is our visitors cabin honestly I'm not sure about that yet and I'm really looking forward to see how they make that Multiplayer decorating. Watch and react as your friends decorate their cabin. This is a bit weird. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. You could not move a single furniture when you had somebody who says, oh, it's rude to decorate when you have somebody uh, on your island. So you'll do that later. So that was a bit weird. But are we just here to watch them decorate? Or can you help? I'm not sure how it will go and this is not the thing I'm the most interested in, but something else later about decorating I'm very interested in. Let's see. Wallpaper and flooring. Change the look and feel of your cabin with new wallpaper and flooring customization. I remember when they talked about the yummy furniture, they said, are you sure they are 13 even without the flooring and wallpaper? So that means that uh, probably all of the furniture sets that we have already will have wallpapers and uh, flooring which means that we can probably change the look of the cabins for for now the wallpaper and flooring was basic compared to where you chose to open that cabin and now we'll have possibly the opportunity to change it and to make it different in all the cabins or the same actually and more and then quality of life updates multi open no more going through character boxes one by one i would say it's at least three weeks away so i don't know if you guys want to not open any boxes to have multi open but also it will make like you open everything and then BAM! You get four new hats! Congratulations! And then you're like, okay. I don't know how it will do, but maybe in the meantime I'll keep opening boxes? We'll see. Pineapples and coconuts. We're adding more coconuts and making it easier to craft some ultimate gifts. I think they said 
something more about that later. Tuning to make character box returns more plentiful. I don't know if it's just the thing that you should get that many number of the sand dollars or the, the thing that they give you or things like that. I don't know if it's that or the hats odds or things like that, but more things in the boxes. I think if it means that we don't need to click more to get everything go through, that's good. But please don't add longer animations. And they say more to come. And then can you spy a few secrets in our new art piece? So this is really cool. You can see the new characters, at least two new, and they seem to have pouches. And you can see that the character seems to have a new shirt, at least. That is probably a costume for Halloween or something like that. To be honest, it's the only new thing that I see. The building on the back is new, I think. So maybe it's something like they would turn something existing, like the fountain into a swishing fountain or something like that. We'll see, but the rest, the pumpkins we had, the jack o lanterns we had, Kuromi doesn't have a new outfit, Hello Kitty doesn't have a new outfit, the hat is a hat that we could get in the maze. So apart from that building, the cherry and berry, thing and the pouches and the top this is everything that i see in the new art do you see something else that i missed let me know so now let's go through uh, some of the messages that the developers wrote in the chat of the discord announcing new things or adding more info somebody uh, mentioned that it would be cool to have the character's abilities embodied in the hats that you get from the character and they said, I sent this idea to our game director as soon as someone suggested it. We are really excited about this. It definitely won't fit into 1.2 though. So probably if you can fly higher with Kuromi, putting Kuromi's hat that you got from the character box might help you fly higher while you're actually delivering gifts with Hello Kitty. That would be something very cool and very useful, especially for doing the island challenges. If you could combine somebody companioning with you in a hat, that would be really nice. Then somebody else mentioned something about the coconuts. We've heard everyone on the coconut shortage. The current plan is to change the mermaid figure recipe to require three pineapple instead of three coconuts in 1.2. So, so far, I guess you get about the same amount of coconuts and pineapples, but uh, there are two, three heart gifts that require coconuts and none, I think, that require pineapples. So you end up having tons of pineapples and no coconuts. So that's very smart. Then somebody said it would be so nice to have some uh, greetings when your player arrives on your island. There's no notification or something like that. And he said, we don't do that because there's a small chance that you might be doing something like riding a minecart as part of a quest sequence. And if you teleport you, that could seriously break the quest or something. But doing a celebration acknowledgement probably work. So like something at the top or something like that, maybe. Gudetama. So here's what they say. Stay tuned for 1.2. We have something coming. Not quite this ID, but something so that Gudetama will be around again. That person said, would be cool if in a future update we could choose to have them show in an area once all have been found in an area. So when I'm exploring, I can occasionally see that little egg. So something else is going on with Gudetama. Okay, so then somebody said, could we maybe dye the furniture or something like that? Or having a very basic collection that we can actually uh, just dye in different colors, something that's just wood. And Sunblink answered, you're gonna love 1.2. So probably something like that, that we are going to be able to tailor the furniture more to our aesthetics. Then something very interesting, they said everything resets at midnight, so midnight uh, mountain time. So the amount of item that spawns each day is related to their rarity, but it isn't the same for every item. You'll find that most currency items respawn about 50 a day, 
whereas I believe rares are around five. Rare ones would be the magma blooms and the cinnamon blooms and the pumpkins, things like that. I think it's more like seven than five. Usually I can count seven. They say currency items, which is the cent dollars on uh, the resort, the shiny on the mountain, obsidian shards on the volcano, uh, mushrooms in the swamp, things like that. You should find 50 a day. Usually you count around 20 or 25, but 50, wow, that's a lot. And I forgot about the blue shells underwater. Something else very interesting. We definitely hear folks on how grandy it feels with continuously needing 300 gifts in the gacha boxes right now. We don't plan on revising that aspect of gacha, though we are improving odds and item counts. But we definitely plan on introducing late game features that make it much easier to acquire items. Basically, we're going to solve the grind, but through addressing the underlying slow pace of item acquisition instead of the catch up functionality. Does that make sense? I have no idea concretely what it will be, but this is very interesting that they are addressing that even late game players are getting bored and that they are trying to lesser the grind, hopefully, but will still have to collect things and have small odds of getting rare items, so that's very good. And then he said, we need to do a better job with PT on the character boxes, trying to get that in for 1.2, but things are so tight right now. So now I've been best friends with people for, I don't know, maybe three weeks, four weeks, something like that, I don't remember. And I have six character hats, which is a third of all the hats possible. And I feel it's good to still have something to look for. Honestly, I don't think that it's too low of an odd, because what do you do when you have them all? then you're just done. Or you just wait until they add more characters and then you'll have to level up those to the max and then try to get the boxes just to try and get the hats. But that might feel even more grindy than having 20, not 20, 10 characters that you're slowly trying to open boxes and hoping to get the hats than just the two and every day you're like, oh no, I'm not having the hats. So. We'll see. Apparently they had a visitor hat PT, like when a visitor is here only for, I would say a couple of days, but I think it was four or five days, you would have a three day hard PT uh, that, for example, cappuccino, um, if it didn't come on the third day, it would come on the fourth, so you know that you will still have him and not miss on him. But apparently they say it's not working right now, and we're not sure if it's going to fit in 1.2 or if it will be on 1.3 or potentially a 1.2 hotfix. So that you cannot do anything. Just be sure that you have the correct requirements for the house, the cabin, and then hope for the best. Then Sky said, it would be cool if we could place furniture items outside of cabins around the island, like the new summer events items. Like that will make the game as exciting as Animal Crossing, to be honest. This is what is super fun to have everybody decorate their island to the max. And then you can share that with other people and that's really, really fun. So that would be amazing. And here's what I said. This is another thing we know we want to support in the future while just figuring out the best way to go about it. So they, that's on their radar. That's not something they say it's not possible. We're not wanting to do. So this is extremely good news. It's just that it might be difficult for them to address that at the moment. And also I feel that it's such a core thing that if they don't know how to make it now, it might not be as cool as a game that was designed to have that at the core decorating outside. And it, might feel weird so we'll see how they make that happen so that was it for the news i don't know if there are any new news article or something like that that they did not read yet but maybe i'll talk to you about that but i think that was interesting to learn directly from the source from the sunblink person talking in 
the Discord and I'm very excited about this update even though I won't be able to uh, play it on the first day because I will be traveling again and I will be super busy so I need to see how I will cover that update for you guys because obviously you'll have it and even if I have to do something like that super ugly like my hotel room probably I'll do something like that we'll see Thank you so much for watching and please tell me what are your predictions and what are you exciting about for this update in the comments. If you missed any of the other updates about this game, like check out all these videos here. Bye bye.